So today we're gonna start prepping everything to get this motor and the transmission out of the car. I'm gonna get this. This is gonna be for our water. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit in there, but it's definitely nowhere near full. So basically what we're doing is emptying out the fuel lines. We're gonna hit fuel, crank her up. When she's running, we're gonna cut the fuel, let it die. Once it dies, we're gonna hit the main switch and we can get to work on everything else. So that's our fuel. She died, and then everything's off. Now we could pop our circuit breakers loose again. There's absolutely, or should be absolutely zero fuel in the lines. So when we go to pull the motor and we disconnect the fuel lines, we shouldn't have gas everywhere. All right, so she's ready to begin her journey to uh, her third engine pull since I've owned her. Take these two beauties off. The hood's gonna come off. I Before when I did my KA pull, I actually put on the glass. I'm not doing it this time. We can fit it in right here. So let me just move this stuff out the way and then we'll take the hood off, put it to the side and get started. With it like this, there's enough space for me to reach in with a wrench and then take off the remaining ones. And then that way I could just lift it off. So this is pretty much an easy way to get your head off if you're alone. side the pet clock's on and then I'm gonna jack up on that side so the water flows towards that end. So on my radiator the drain is on the right side. I'm gonna jack up the left side and then we're gonna do that. Alright. I pulled out the plug. You can see it's it's plastic which in the first place coil I don't know what's what's up with that but I need to replace it, so I'm probably gonna order that tonight. All right, so the coolant is come down to a drip, so now we're gonna pull this, put a little rag under there, put the pet cock back in, and then move on to oil. One thing you wanna do when you're draining your fluid, uh, oil and coolant, both very important, you wanna look at it with a flashlight and just see if there's any contaminants in there. Uh, mostly you're looking for oil and the coolant or coolant and oil. Um, sometimes it's really bad, sometimes it's minor, but it's best to catch it before it's too late, so. You're probably like, why are you pulling your SR? Like, it's so good, it runs good, and it does. But I've just been having a small problem transmission-wise. That's kind of the reason I'm pulling the SR. Trans problem and to refresh it. So we could be set for OSW. All right, so I was gone a little longer than I expected, but we're back and we're gonna drain the oil now. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Okay, this is not going down the way it needs to. This is going to fill up too fast. Hold on. Right. Oh, I just dropped it in the actual... Okay. Yep, that seals it. We're heading outside to wash our tools down. This water is freezing cold. Jeez. Head back into the shop. It's cold, man. I'm in Florida, but it's like, what, 60 degrees? That's really cold for us. So there's a good amount in here, a lot actually, yeah. And uh, the best way to do this is with a turkey baster. I call this like the famous gas station. I see so many cars. I've seen the LS swapped, S14, Zenki. I've seen McLarens. 
Aventadors, Ferraris, Porsches, like everything comes here. It's actually pretty cool. And they have bike night, like right over there at the Hurricane Wings. I'm just gonna make sure it's firm. Boom, just like that. Just need to get this light. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, I actually folded and I forgot to record the entire process of me going back and forth, emptying out the rest, but I did out as much as I could. There's obviously still gonna be some of the lines which we'll handle when we disconnect that and everything. Boom. Oh, I did a little too much. So now, the entire re What the? Guys, I don't know. I could have sworn when I had my KA, I tested this out and it emptied the whole entire thing once it reached over that line. Dude, that's weird. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Well, now we got a little bit of water and coolant on the floor as well as a rest full of coolant. When we take the rat out, we'll just empty that. It's fine for now. All right, we drain the coolant, we drain the oil, we empty the power steering res. This time the hood's off, so it's gonna be much easier to pull the engine. If you guys didn't see my last video when I pulled the KA, the hood was still on. If you guys wanna watch that, there's gonna be a card somewhere on the top of the screen, so make sure you click on that and check that out. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.